As a believer, you need to learn to rely on Christ. This is easier said than done because the world has conditioned you since birth to rely on yourself. They, they do this through their fear conditioning. And the fact that many of the leaders in the world, including many of the worldlings, cannot be trusted, that adds to your sense of independence, thinking you need to be independent because you can't rely on others. Or if you do rely on others, you're trapped. God wants you to rely on Him, the great I am, the only one who really exists. He wants us to rely on Him, the man, so that we walk in His strength. When we do that, we have no sorrows, no worries, no tragedies. God wants you to be without any sorrows, without any worries, and without any tragedies. How does this happen when you rely completely on Him? It's not on yourself and you walk in confident expectation of good. Yes, you have your own abilities, yet you have your own capacities, but you don't rely on your own abilities nor your own capacities. You are flexible to get along with the diversion of the Holy Spirit. It can be that you're involved in a business and the Holy Spirit directs you to something else and you go, you flexibly, you let go of that other business and you do what God wants you to do over here. Why? Because that other business over there, in a, two years off, two years from now, it would collapse due to some economic crisis, so the Holy Spirit diverted you to somewhere else. And because of that, you are flexible to go along with the Holy Spirit. That is what God wants for you. I may have spoken to fast, and I'm repeating it slowly to you. God wants you to be so flexible that when He diverts you in another direction, you easily go with Him. Because when you easily go with Him, you go in safety, you go in prosperity, you go in peace. You don't have to figure things out on your own. Why? Because you have no sorrows. So you have no regrets if things don't work out the way you intend it to be. Why? Because you realize you're not the God of your own existence. All sorrows, all worries, all tragedies are on the shoulders of Christ and He has taken care of them all at Calvary. So you will be benefiting from an historic victory of Christ that remains relevant throughout eternity. That is what God wants for you. As a believer, you will encounter situations where you will think, Lord, why me? Why am I going through all this unnecessary drama? And those people over here who don't even serve you, things just unfold for them. But look at this. Yes, those other people who don't serve God, who are not even spiritually active, things unfold easily for them. But, but check this out. When a crisis comes, where's the security? Or oh, they don't have any. When they're on a psychic attack, where can they get help? Oh, they don't. They think it's all physical, or they may go to a witch doctor or whatever. You, because you walk by faith, you overcome psychic attacks, and after a while, all violence diverts away from you. Whenever a negative tension comes your way, it is thrown the other way around. So you, eventually, you are immune to violence. They, this unfold easily for them, but need to watch out because when people get pissed off at them, they're on a psychic attack that may affect their health or when they're vulnerable enough and someone does want to face themselves, they can become a target. So they're under the threat of becoming a target anytime if they displease society. So they are under pressure to please society, even at their own expense. Yet they have things unfolding easily for them. So what's the benefit of having things unfold so easily for you if you're operating under a threat Everything can be taken away from you if someone does want to face themselves. So society does want to face itself. People just want relief and you need to get along with their relief or else. So you're operating under an or else regime, day and night. So where's your peace? There is none. There's only relief. So yes, things unfold easily for them, but they are lost. Some of them are pagan, so you have some delay in destruction, though to paranormal aid, but that's a delay. You, you have the real security. So again, do not be impressed by the prosperity of pagans. Because pagans have 
prosperity, but it's very short-lived. Worldly people who don't have, have any spiritual cover, when things go well for them, sooner or later, they become the target, they become the prey of scam artists or of narcissists or of other types of creeps. So when you look at it carefully, there's nothing desirable about their condition. Nothing. It only appears that way. So, never compare the processes that are going on with you with the easy unfolding that world the people experience. Yes, things unfold easily for them. I admit it. It can feel frustrating to you as a believer thinking, I walk by faith, I walk in the power, and I, I, I get violence all the time. They are under violence. And when they are out of line, by not giving in to the wills of society, society will put them in check with a threat. You, society rages against you because they cannot blackmail you with violence because violence diverts away from you. So that's why you encounter, that's why you experience all their rage because they can't do anything to you. They, them in the world have things on, that unfold easily for them because society at any time can shut them down and feel relieved. With you, they can't do it. So see things in perspective. Well, that's it for now. Keep agreeing with Christ and be at peace.